We've talked a lot about the biggest names in reigning being here to compete for these spots on the U.S. team going to the World Equestrian Games. Among them, four gold medalists from the 2002 Games. But there are also a lot of up-and-comers who are determined to take their shot at being on that team. Among them is Matt Mills on Easy Odie Wiz. Let's rejoin Jeff Metters and former NRHA Futurity champion Rick Weaver with more action. And that is Easy Odie Wiz, ridden by Matt Mills of Scottsdale, Arizona. This is a stallion by Topsail Wiz. And, you know, Rick, when you look at the day sheet, this is a horse that kind of jumps off the page. This horse has the whole package. He's got a great mind. His athletic ability is as good as anybody's, and he's also gorgeous. Well, that said, that's the pressure that Matt Mills feels, you know, when you... When you have a horse that should win or people think will win, I mean, that's when the pressure really mounts up. You have to go out there and get that kind of a run out of them. They came real close at the World Show last year. They're, they're shown quite a bit together, and, and Matt really knows this horse. Third in the senior reigning at the World Show last year. We got an excellent start, Jeff. Right, two aggressive circles, and now he slows down to the small circle. From the judge's perspective, nice transition. Very good transition. Very good large circles and a very good stop. And now a chance to see how good he is at those spins. And the answer is good. It's an excellent set of spins. Wow, what a great start for Easy Odie Wiz and Matt Mills. Now they'll focus on the right side. Matt's really a good athlete, too, and I don't think that he's the least bit intimidated by everybody else. Started out as a youngster in Western Pleasure, horsemanship and trail, and all of that stuff, believe it or not, will help you as you, you make a transition to reigning. This is good stuff, Jeff. Started reigning in 1996, and I think it's all been leading to this moment right here. So far, Matt Mills and Easy Odie Wiz have been flawless. That's very hard to do. You can tell the crowd is very much into it. Last set of spins right here. Another very good set of spins. He's on his way. Making it look easy, and that's what it's all about. Matt Mills, born and raised in Long Beach, California. Not really a hotbed for Rainers, but uh, it's worked well for him. The challenge for this horse is that he does everything so easily that the degree of difficulty sometimes doesn't look quite as much, but Matt's really got it hung out there. Wow. Spent five years as an assistant trainer with Del Hendricks, so a chance to beat his old boss here. He's on his way. He's done everything so well, and now we'll see how he handles that first sliding stop. Good approach, very good stop, and a good rollback. And how about the composure exhibited by horse and rider in this situation? This is a pretty good combination. Look at the sand underneath that horse's belly and his high <laughs> legs from stopping. It's a good indication that he really gets down and into that stop. He's still right where he needs to be, Jeff. So if you're in the lead at this point in time, you might be a little bit nervous as Easy Odie Wiz and Matt Mills put the finishing touches on this run. He's got a chance, Jeff. Well, it was all about potential when they got here, and Matt Mills and Easy Odie Wiz living up to the billing. What a run here at the horse park. The spins were great. Hard to knock this run in any way, shape, or form. 231.5 for Matt Mills and Easy Odie Wiz. He is the new leader. And Rick, you're exactly right. I mean, they did so many things right. This, the combination of the American Quarter Horse, this is what they're supposed to be like. He has the athleticism, the looks, and the mind. He showed us a little bit of everything, and Matt Mills has surged to the lead, 231 and a half, 
Aaron Ralston in second. Here's Jennifer. Wow. I, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I guess it's fair to say that went just the way you wanted it. Yeah, it went exactly to plan. I mean, couldn't have gone any better. I'd envisioned that run in my head, and you know, most of the time, it's hard to get that exact run done. But right when I loped off, I could just feel that horse was just right, right on. And he's always been that way, but today was just extra special. I mean, I've never marked that high before. And that was my goal coming in here, and it just feels so good to get it done with you know the crowd out here and with all the history at the Kentucky Horse Park. It's just been great.